Her teachers are warning of dire consequences if government fails to take urgent steps to provide them food and pay outstanding fees from as far back as October 2021. In a leaked letter to the Ministry of Education, the Conference of Heads of Assisted Schools laments government's failure to pay arrears even for stationary or for carbon foods or food items across the country for students. Now, TAS, as they are called, therefore threatens to inform parents to advise themselves in the face of a food crisis in schools. In the meantime, fears in a leaked letter to the education minister. The school heads also fear a possible shortage of food as critical food items have not been supplied for months now. We've got some details from that leaked letter dated 13th November 2024 and signed by the National Secretary of Chas Primus Barrow uh, to the Ministry of Education. I want to show you a bit more of that uh, information we have gleaned from um, uh, Chas's letter to the Ministry of e Education. We know there is the release of outstanding payments for recurring fees owed to schools since 2021 academic year. Now, in that letter, it makes the point that certain, certain months have been paid within that period, that three-year per period from October 2021. But, you know, a chunk of this is still outstanding. There is also the refund of monies meant for uh, cutting the food items from regional zonal food centers, among others. And then there is also the issue to do with ensuring the immediate supply of adequate food items now how are these challenging academic work uh, the head teachers are saying that the debt owed because of the non-payment of the recurrent fees except exam fees has school heads in a very uncomfortable situation and in some cases some school creditors are threatening legal action against the schools Number two, they also talk about some key food items that have not been supplied to schools since the inception of the 2024-2025 academic year. Now, this, they say, has made the feeding of students very difficult for school management and is now even creating some disciplinary problems and uneasy calm on school campuses. Now, they also say that we still have, well, in, indeed, and that is where they talk about how uh, they will speak to parents to advise themselves. And they also say that as a result of the uh, non-payment of stationary fees or provision of stationary, they plan to halt the admission of first-year students. Uh, let's put all of this together, unpack, dissect it with uh, uh, Honorable Peter Nochu Kotui, uh, who joined us earlier on another matter. He's ranking member of Parliament's Education Committee. He's also member of Parliament for Akachi North, busily campaigning in, in his constituency. Honorable, thank you so much for your patience. Hopefully the line is better now. But this is what we are hearing this evening. How does this news come to you? Uh, thank you very much. Um, it doesn't come to me as a surprise. Uh, because... This has been a challenge, a premier one, uh, for a very long time now. Uh, as uh, members of the Education Committee, we have spoken about this uh, issue of uh, food strategies in our senior high schools uh, over a period now. And uh, we have been of the view that there was a need to find a solution for it. But the ministry did not seem to be doing the best for feeding programs in our senior high schools. So it didn't come to me as a surprise. Mm, I see. It doesn't come to you as a surprise. You say it's something that you have brought up at the committee level a few times. What responses did you get from the education ministry as to why these very crucial monies have not been paid? Well, many a time when we raise the issue, the ministry will be quick to deny any strategies of food in our various uh, senior high schools. So for us as a committee or as an individual, <laughs> as a committee, that uh, the ministry is ready to listen to anybody and they would like to do whatever they thought was uh, right. So we, as a minority, uh, we have decided not to talk much about it because you will say it and they will tell it in propaganda you are doing politics with the feeding of uh, students. And I'm happy the church and leadership uh, have come out with uh, this now. So it is a wake-up call to government 
to provide the food items that are needed in the various institutions for our students to eat and then remain in school and learn. I see, but but as a committee in Parliament, you look at the uh, the books or or the financial statement of, of, of the ministry. Is it the case that perhaps they haven't received the money to for onward transfer to to the schools to be able to use for these very important and significant aspects of education of our young children? Well, as a committee, every year we recommend for approval by Parliament any amount that was uh, presented to us for approval uh, or recommendation in respect of the school uh, free senior high school program. There was no occasion on which we reduced or cut the proposals brought before us, uh, knowing very well that these monies were needed for the smooth implementation of the free senior high school. But over the years, the stories have been the same. If it is not shortage of food or non-payment for food supply, there is a non-payment for materials or equipment supplied to the various senior high schools. As we talk now, even the uh, tablets that were supplied for the senior high schools have not been paid for. Mm -hmm. And a whole lot of things are being uh, owed, or sums of money are being owed to suppliers of food items, equipment and materials. So the Ministry of Education, I don't know what is wrong, why they are not getting money from the Ministry of Finance to pay for the food items that have been supplied over the months. Mm -hmm. So as a committee, we don't have anything to do again. The onus is on government to um, buy or pay for the food that have been supplied to the schools. So. The committee has played its part, and uh, Suddenly, unfortunately, yeah, we are even on recess, mm -hmm. so there is little that we can do about it. Absolutely, I understand that. I mean, what I was driving at is whether you know, because this, this issue is the, the uh, you know, the conference of the heads of assisted secondary schools are saying that it's an issue that go back to as far back as 2021. So I was asking, I mean, if you vet their, their financial books from 2021, is it the case that the finance ministry has not given them money for which reason they have also not been able to pay or perhaps this money has gone into other projects under the under the education ministry? You see, the challenge with the free children high school is the over-centralization of procurement of food items for uh, consumption in the senior high schools. You see, you buy all the assets, whatever they call it, the commodities exchange company or the buffer stock. They buy the food, bring everything to Accra to be uh, distributed to secondary schools all over the country. Why don't we decentralize the procurement of food items? We approve 10 Ghana cities per student, for uh, boarding students per day. Now, 70% of that money is kept in Accra, and 30% or three cities to be sent to the schools. Even that is not released to them to the fullest. They will release a number, and then for the rest of the year, they will not release that amount to the various institutions to even uh, buy uh, um, things that uh, we call uh, perishables. So the schools are handicapped financially, and they are unable to uh, feed the students. When the food is not sent to them, they are unable to uh, get uh, food to feed them because everything is supplied from Accra, will be put at a depot, and then they will go and carry a whole lot of inconveniences that the headmasters are going through in the various senior high schools. Mm, so I see. the best is to decentralize the procurement of food items, and I think that problem will be solved. Very well. Honorable, hold the line for me because I've got your namesake on the other line. Dr. Peter Antipati is the Executive Secretary of the Institute for Education Studies. Uh, Dr. Patti, thank you so much for joining us. I'm blessed, I'm blessed to have P-Square here with me. But listen, let's get into the more serious matter, which has to do with these children uh, who are who, who risk a food crisis, a food shortage while they are uh, they are in school. Um, the honourable member of parliament tell us that listen, this does not come to me as a as a surprise. But as an industry watcher, how do you feel about this? 
Uh, thank you very much, and uh, Kemini, and good evening to your uh, viewers. Uh, I, I feel disappointed. I feel disappointed, not in government, not in the Ministry of Education, but in Charles. I feel that Charles have not done us any good by um, leaking or bringing this issue up in November 2024. Some of us have known this far back 2021. We have said this, we have talked about it. If you speak to individual headmasters, just about a month ago, I was in one headmaster's office. They complained bitterly. And we were thinking that Charles, as an organization with their power and, and the, the, the stake they have in the sector, they would put all issues aside and come out to, to talk about the challenges that they are going to in managing our secondary education for us. But reasons best known to them, they have kept this to themselves and they are releasing this letter in November 2024. Anybody who looks at this will think that you are, you are doing something to influence uh, the election that is yet to mm -hmm. be held in the next two weeks. Mm -hmm. And that is why I'm disappointed in Charles because they, they have allowed our children to go through these difficult circumstances for three good years. And if you have a word in, in, in our school, you will know the kind of things that you are asked to bring when you are taking your word to school, especially if you are going for a first year. Some are asked to even buy tires to, to, to tie the dormitory. We, a lot of things are going on, but it's, it's, it's the duty of Charles to bring these things out so that parents, so that all, all, of, our, all of us would come out and help these, find solutions to this. They have kept this to themselves, and they are not talking about this in November. And that is why I'm disappointed in Charles, because this has been the situation on the ground since time immemorial. Unfortunately, if you talk about it, as the honorable member said, it is seen as you are doing propaganda. It's seen as you don't like mm -hmm. uh, you don't like a policy. It's seen as you are you don't like a particular person. But this is the reality on the ground, right. and it's unfortunate that it's coming up in November. Absolutely, and 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 Charles will have themselves to blame for sure. But also, we know that some of the head teachers had told journalists in confidence that really the reason they cannot come out to speak is because they're afraid for their positions and for their jobs. And so, you know, we, we may want to consider that a little bit. I, I, again, I'll pick your thoughts on that. But I want us to take a listen to some of the students who are affected by this. Take a listen to trip on students. Uh, we are here. When he is supper, he's wearing rice, no stew. He's not tasty. Supper time, dessert, the, the, the soup is not nice. Some of us, we can't take it for uh, supper. It's only the boys who have been coming because we don't know whether they have money, they don't have money, that like we are not going to collect their food. But when we go to management, that the one that they have, that's what they give it to us. So we need help from you before. Please, we beg you and we beg you in the name of Allah. Can't you see our dining hall? If they are doing something, well, they don't think. They will come here and they will come and do. They will not complain. When we complain, we are no fun, no feeling. Please, we beg. We beg you, people, in the name of Allah. We need help. Thank you. Well, those are students of Tripone uh, Technical Senior High School. And just before you mark them down, I want you to understand the nuances that come with that. But more importantly, making an appeal on the government to say that they cannot eat the food they are being served. Yes, they are lucky enough to have their food, but they say that the food is of poor quality, Peter, that they cannot eat the food that they are being served. Dr. Anti, your take on this. Yes, um, that, that has been the situation, you see, but unfortunately, the time that we are in, if, if you are not careful, you, you would fall into the trap of you trying to make a government unpopular, and, and, and especially when the government's um, um, campaign is hinged around free senior high school. If you bring these issues up, that is the only thing that you will be tagged with. You, Indeed, but, you no, but dog, when you think about this, when, when we look at it in that light, then we are more or less becoming like the uh, conference of heads of assisted schools who refused to talk about this three years ago. So then the question then will be, what can we do about this situation to feed the children,
provide stationery so that first year students can go to school so that we can prevent the closure of our senior high schools. You first, Dr. Party. I think that the government should just um, move in quickly. Uh, the Minister of Finance will release funds to the schools to enable them and undertake whatever they are supposed to do. But the, what, what needs to happen is that child needs to be proactive. Child should not be fearful of any government. If individual headmasters cannot speak because they are afraid of their position, that is why we have chance. That body has the mandate to talk about the issues happening. And I think that if they are able to push forcefully, they will be able to uh, force government to um, um, release some funds for, 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 for the running of the schools. I think that maybe they, they should decide of, of, about closing all the schools within the, the coming week. And if they, they throw this out, I think that government would react by releasing funds to enable them to run the school as they are supposed to do. Mm, I see. I, I'll let you have the last word, uh, Honorable, uh, on this matter. How can we save our young kids in senior high schools on the back of this chess issue? Uh, Honorable Peter. Uh, the only solution to this matter is for the Ministry of Finance to as quickly as possible release money to the Ministry of uh, Education or the free senior high school secretariat to disburse to the various institutions so that uh, they can buy the food items that are needed. Or, say, one thing that we should also even know is that uh, many suppliers of uh, food items are scared these days mm -hmm. because they are not sure of what is going to happen uh, uh, during the elections. So they don't want to invest their money into the supply of any items now. And then if there's a change of government, they will be unable to get their money in time. And that fear is also there. So if the ministry is able to release money to them immediately, they take this money and supply food items to the various uh, secondary schools, I think the problem will be solved. So it behoves on government to do the needful and this matter will come to a rest. Indeed, very well. Peter and Peter, thank you so much for talking to us here on Ghana tonight. Uh, Peter Notre Kotwe is Member of Parliament for Akachi North. And then you also saw Dr. Peter Pate Anti, who is with IFEST, um, an education think tank in this country. You're still live here on Ghana tonight. We're streaming on Facebook, on YouTube, on x.com. We're also live on 392.7 FM. My name is Kemini Amano. Listen, the government has been commissioning a lot of projects. Now may be a good time to also turn attention to education where our young children in senior high school are really under, our are really under the impact and effect of our neglect of that sector, their food, their stationery. We don't know if CHAS is going to call off admissions of first-year students. Government needs to commission something there as well. 